Hello everyone, it's L Rick, and I'm here to analyze my uh, match against Karaoke on that comeback. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I, I kind of want to do this because of two reasons. One is to give you guys in depth what I do in tournaments, and two, I want to analyze my own playthrough, and I want to see every mistake, every things I did right, everything I did wrong. So let's get started. We're gonna go frame by frame. And if you're not into Smash, I completely understand. You could go on, you could back out and just watch my vlogs I recently upload. All right, so let's get started. Right here, it seems that I made a mistake of giving myself away. I was trying to space myself, but I didn't space it perfectly. So he, um, Karaoke, uh, as good Mario main he is, he punishes it with his up air. Which is great for him. I should have just been more careful. I should have just played it a lot more neutral. Wait for him to come to me or me to come to him and find a better way to approach it. Because um, using a fair from this isn't really safe if you don't space it right. Okay, this is where I punish Karaoke for his back air. I don't know if you guys saw, but that little frames when he got down and he jumped um, after when he charged his flood. He went for a back air and that's my opportunity for me to either go for a grab or a dash attack and I waited and I guess I just reacted fast enough to realize that he was on shield and I was I could just grab him since he was super close to me. So that was the right move for me to do, just punish his back air and wait for him to go shield. If he tried to roll left, I could just simply dash attack with Ness's um, dash attack because it's disjointed. He jumped and he was in a situation where he either he had to land on a platform, but in this case there was no platform that was away, or throw out something. And knowing me as a nest main, I had could either dash attack for and punishing his land, or he has to find a way to mix it up in his landing, which in this case he didn't, and he I guess he tried with a fair but uh, failed. So I punished him with a grab, and as soon as I grabbed, he died in. And that's what that's his, in my case. I go for an up air. I always go for up air because if you di in up air, if you di out. You could either go for an up air, but it's safer to use uh, fair. So as soon as when he di in, I up aired and he threw out an attack, and I realized I could punish him for that. So I just side B, which is my PK fire. And there was this two situation I could have done. I could either go for an up air or go for a bat. And up air would have been a safer, or even fact and fair, it would have been safer. But I'm trying to find what causes the most damage, and the bat seems reasonable enough. The second option, if you want to go for an up air, was a lot, which is a lot safer, uh, which I recommend to do. It's a lot better to do safer options than doing stupid options and well, risk it all. But in this case, it worked. I got him with my tipper bat, and I put him out of a situation where he doesn't have a jump nor a double jump yeah basically yeah he doesn't have a du double jump and he has to find a creative way to basically get in stage Kuroki did something really smart here he used my PK Thunder as an advantage to get back in stage and basically not die from it as you can tell he almost died from it but I was I didn't know that he lost his double jump so that was my bad on my part. I should have paid more attention of what he was doing instead of what I was doing. And instead of going for a like a grab, I should have went for like a dash attack because he went he rolled and it was punishable. I, I should have reacted fast enough for that. This is where I made a mistake. I went for a back throw and I wasted the raw back throw kill. If that was if I was at the edge, maybe in the middle of the stage or maybe like a little bit to more to the right, I would have killed him. But I didn't at the end. I should have Basically, there's two things I could have done. Forward throw, force him um, in the stage, make him get in the stage as creative as possible, or throw him up and juggle the opponent with my PK fire. Or my PK fire, my PK thunder, sorry about that. I could have done that, but my mistake was is that I back threw him. Which is good because I put him in a, in a position where he has to go back in stage, but I, I, it's not good. It's not honestly good. It was a bad choice of me. Right here, I kind of knew he was. He did the down air and from from the air, and I think the best option was to do up air. Uh, I I used back air because I guess it was um I didn't react quick enough and I just panicked and I just back there. I think the best option I, I could have done was an up air and it would have killed a lot easier. He would have been dead by now, but um a grab could do it too because he was like around 134 and I think a full stage could have killed. Gladly, he thought I was gonna throw him forward, but he died badly and just 
I just back through them, and that's pretty much it. That's the rest is kind of self-explanatory. Try to use the BK Thunder for um, an option, so you could get back as creative as possible, and that's pretty much it. At this point, he was just being aggressive, and I didn't punish his aggressiveness. I could have just simply wait for it until he throws an attack, and I could have just grabbed PK Thunder, Fair, did any of that. But um, I was trying to play defensive as possible, which is my mistake. I shouldn't just play just defensive. I'm not trying to, you know, clock him out of time. I'm, what I'm trying to do is to beat him as quickly as possible, or at least give him enough damage for my, if I ever lose my second stock. That's my mistake there. I should play a little bit more offensive and to balance the defensive part so, because he has to come to me now because I have the stock ahead. I, I, I have a stock ahead basically so my mistake was um, right here is did not play as offensive and to be offensive at times and there's nothing really important right here he just didn't run like not a random up smash he read my role and did up smash um, I should have been more careful I should have just been around him not like on the floor and I'm a Ness player, so I'm all about all around characters. I should just stay in one place. That's my mistake. I should just keep moving and read what he was doing. Basically, it. Um, just don't get up smash. That's all I gotta do. Give as much um, damage as possible. 40% is around a good percentage of giving enough damage. When I got on my PK fire out of stage, I should have um, read the. I should have done the forward smash a lot earlier for sure. But if not, if you want to go for a safer option, I should have just done a near or a forward air or up air. Any of those. In fact, maybe a back air is a lot better if I pivot. If I would have pivot, I would have done a back air. I think that would have killed. But I don't want to take the risk of hitting a sour spot. So the most safest option is a nair or the up air. That's a, um, a safest option. Since he was a 96 percentage, I think that would have killed. Nair, maybe. Up air would have killed definitely. And that was my mistake of doing. I should have just not gone for forward smash. I just went for the quickest option, which is up air and air. And I had time to react, but I didn't. I failed to execute it right. So right here, we just um, I just grabbed him and back threw him basically. I palm him a little bit because he was around 80, and I was at the very edge. So if you're around 80, don't take the risk and just back throw him. At least give some damage to that person and just basically back throw him that's what I would do and it worked out in the end if I back through him at that exact time I think he would have like around 86 he was around there or 80 he would have still lived he would have still lived and I would have been in a situation where he could have made a comeback so like I said that was the end of the first game I won that one second game was bad but first game I won that one um, also, like I said, I could have ended this stock sooner if I just played it smart, went for an up air, went for or a back air, but an up air is a lot safer, and I should have not done another PK fire because I knew he was going to up here already, so that gave me a lot of time to react it already, so um, that was my B on my part. Okay, second game. Oh, oh, wonderful yeah. spike, and that was... Let's not talk about that. That, that. that was horrible. I was just throwing out some random attacks, and that was a horrible match. Oh, that was a quick match, too. Uh, let's just go to game three, all right? <laughs> right here in this first game, the first few seconds, I was tr um, trying to gain stage control, and it was working at first until he threw the fireball and hit me with an up smash, or like up to the up smash, which is great. Uh, I don't know what it is, which is great from his part. The thing I should have done is feared more, be more careful, and watch over those fireballs. I could have easily absorbed those, and I could have kept on faring, faring, to, to pressure him, of course. This is where I messed up too. I should have been more patient. I, I was just going for attacks, going for attacks. I needed to attack them. I was being a little aggressive. And this is where I sh my patience game should have came. I should have let him come to me. Like I said, I'm all around character. I'm a Nes man. I should just, you know, fair, fair, space him, space him. But I didn't end up doing so. I just kept on doing some stupid, dumb stuff. Just going for random stuff, up airs, back airs, and everything. And that back air should have let, um, led up to an up air. I don't know if you guys see that, but like towards the end, um, I back air him with a soft, like a sour spot. I think that should have been an up air or neutral air. That would have been a great combo starter. It would have been a great, um, if let's say I, he wasn't close to the ground, I could have just jab blocked him and do a forward smash. And that would have been the game, like the set, not, not the set, the game. Stock, sorry. That would have been stock. Um, in this game, I was just a little impatient. and But um, I guess Karaoke caught up to it and started punishing me for that.
when I tried PK Thunder in stage, I didn't mean to go through him or I'm tr I was trying to get above him. And I, I was hoping that I would either get the ledge, but my angle was obviously wrong. And this this is my first mistake, PK Thunder in stage. I could have just went um, below and just recover on my down B. I think I had my double jump or something. I could have just... I could have done better honestly, I could have done better. I was just in a panic mode where he um, had the water flood and he could have just easily killed me. So that's why I wanted to go above, recovering above. And it was a bad decision. I could have never, if you're a nest mate, never recover above Mario. He could easily flood you if he has a fully charged flood and in this case I was just lucky that I didn't get flooded. Also of him getting um, PK uh, Rocket which is the PK Thunder and he just like goes flying. It was, I meant to do that. Um, I was just trying to juggle him around and trying to get into my position. And I knew he was gonna try to hit me and go for like a, I don't know, like anything in, in general. But as soon as he landed, I knew I had him right there and I just went PK Rocket and he just died from it, which is a really early kill. And this is where I had to lead. Right here, it was just me and him on the last stock situation. I was trying to find a way to gain more damage, but, um, I was just doing random stuff, I admit, I was not mixing it up well, I was just trying to get as much damage as possible, which is my mistake, I should just been careful, and I should just space myself, but instead, I was greedy, and I just wanted the damage, and that cost me a stock and the game of this set, and I'm not even joking, yeah, I lost this game, uh, I could have done better for sure, a lot of people said I should have mixed it up a lot more, and I've been, I've been mixing it up a lot more recently, it's just that it was hard to do it because I don't really know how to mix up with Ness as much. Um, all I could do is just do fair, down throw, fair, you know, stuff like that. But I've been learning throughout the whole um, season that I could mix up with Ness. I, I, I'm doing a pretty good darn job out of it. Um, so, like I said, I, I was just being too impatient in this um, last stock situation. I just wanted to be damaged. As you can tell here, I was just fighting, fighting, just... You know, going for PK Thunders, PK Fire, throwing out some random, random shit, which it should, it was unnecessary, and it cost me the game, honestly. And this is where I think I, I lost right here. I think this is the part where I lost. He he went for like an up smash. This is where I was the mistake as an S main is that I keep air dodging in stage. I need to mix up my recovery. I need to mix up how to get in stage. I need to, you know, find better ways to recover. So I, he just read my dodge and that's pretty much it. Um, he read my roll and he went for an up smash and he won the set. Um, fu um, funny story out of this, we both were wearing the same type of thing. Uh, he was wearing a hentai shirt and I was wearing a hentai jacket. You could see me and him like just posing and lunchbox saying that we're both winners at the end. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching this video. That's my, uh, my analyzing of the, my matchup and the comeback uh, if you guys want to see more of the comeback i'll leave the stream below so you guys can watch it hope you guys enjoyed this video this is um, frame by frame and i was thinking to do a lot more of this whenever i have the chance thank you guys for watching leave a like and want to subscribe and say rookie yeah i'll see you guys in the next one